Let's see this question. Composition functions again. So we have we're given f of g of x equals to a quadratic function. And the g of x is a linear function. So let's substitute this g of x into 2x minus 7. So let's rewrite here. So f of 2x minus 7 equals to 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. So one way of doing this is to rewrite this function in terms of 2x minus 7. So we're treating basically we're treating 2x minus 7 as a variable. So how do we do that? First, we see we have a square term, right, and a 4x squared. So let's calculate 2x minus 7 squared, a perfect square. 2x, 2x parentheses squared, that's 4x squared. Then the middle term is 2 times 2x times negative 7, which is a negative 28x. Then negative 7 squared is positive 49. So we want to write this one as 2 x minus 7 squared for the square term, for the square term. And uh, we have negative 2x, but here we have negative 28x. So we need to add back positive 26x, right? So we add back 26x. Now we only have positive 1, but here we have 49. So we minus 48 to get a positive 1. So that's minus 48. So, okay, the quadratic term is done. So we have 2x minus 7 squared, right? So that's, that's right, corresponding to that. Now we want to rewrite the linear term. Linear term involves 2x minus 7. So 26x, we can write as 13, factor out 13, then we have 2x, and then we want to write as 2x minus 7. Well, 13 minus 7, we get a negative 91. But uh, we only have negative 48. So let's see, plus 48, 3, 8, 4, 43. Right, so we have to add 43 into, into this. Now, so we just basically rewrite, we just rewrite the function, this quadratic function into this form. And this form involves 2x minus 7 squared and 2x minus 7. So that means we can write this function as f of x equals to because we're treating this as the input, this is our input. The input squared, so now input is x, input squared plus 13 times the input plus 43. That's it. That's f of x. Okay, this is just one way of doing it, right? You, you, that's another way of doing this also.